So the next step in the dust collection system is going to be uh, dealing with the fine dirt that comes out of the dust collector. You can see just I have a nice collection of very fine dust that makes its way uh, <coughs> out of the cone, obviously not into the bucket, and gets blown out through here. So I'm getting some dust collection or some filtering coming through here. You can tell that because that's the color that this is supposed to be, so it, it's become quite dirty uh, just from collecting some of the dust. So I'm happy that's doing some work, but it, it clearly not enough. So I have picked up a MERV 11 uh, filter, 16 by 20, and I can make a little box now that will um, let me <clears throat> set this filter up here and have the blower come into that box the sock that's on it is going to be the diffuser to kind of distribute the air in this box a little bit better and then it can uh, uh, come out this filter obviously i've got to get it set the right way so the air will flow out the right direction but that should help an awful lot with that fine dust so i'm going to start working on that now so to start on the dust collection box i've got some of the um, aspenite that we used for the hat of the, or sorry, for the uh, lid on the dust collector bin, and some more of these uh, pine boards left over from shelves uh, and cabinet doors. So I'm going to cut these into strips that'll form the sides of the unit. This will be the back of the unit, obviously, with a hole uh, and to enable the uh, blower to stick into that. And then uh, some ridges down the side to uh, enable us to capture and hold the filter in place. So let me measure and uh, cut out the sides. The filter itself is 16 by 20, so I want to make sure that it's going to, the inside dimensions of my box are 16 by 20. Therefore, I need to take into account you know, the width of these uh, pieces here that form the edges of the box. So the inside here is 16 by 20. I'll do a little bit of calculation and come right back. So even though the filter is 16 by 20, the actual the measurements are 3 eighths of an inch less than that, so 15 and 5 eighths by 19 and 5 eighths, which means uh, with 3 quarters inch sides here, I'm going to cut this piece down to 17 and an eighth by 21 and an eighth. Now we can cut these guys to size. First step will be taking off the square edge here. So since these uh, sides and are uh, three quarter inch solid pine, I'm not going to do anything fancy in terms of the joinery. I, I will just be butting them up together uh, using some uh, glue and screws to hold it together and we'll be using some silicone on the inside just to seal it up. So I'm going to make uh, the two sides are going to be 17 and an eighth. And, uh, Actually, I'm going to make two of the sides 21 and an eighth, and the uh, sides are going to be 17 and an eighth less an inch and a half to account for the, the other two sides. So kind of top bottom will be the shorter, the sides will be the longer. So I'm measuring 21 and an eighth with this little uh, spacer put in here. That way I can be sure that when I put the board through the saw, 
there's a little gap over here so I don't get any kickback. See, I do, I do listen to the comments. I, I read the comments and I learn. Okay, next up are the top and bottom, which are going to be 17 and an eighth, less the inch and a half that represented by these two sides. So that's 15 and 5 eighths. Okay, we're ready for some quick assembly. I think we got it right. You gotta love when that happens. So that's basically how it's gonna go together. And business on top, and a hole here for the sock, for the uh, outlet of the blower. Okay, we uh, drill and countersink some pilot hole, or holes for the screws to hold this together. Okay, the box is uh, loosely fit together. Well, not loosely, I mean it's screwed in place. I haven't put glue on it. I'll, I'll make sure I do that afterwards, but that filter fits in perfectly. Just the right amount of snug. What I want to do uh, next uh, on this is Put in a little bit of relief on the inside, or a little, a little piece on the inside to keep the filter from falling all the way in. So it'll be a little strip on each side. Uh, I'm, in fact, I may go all the way around it just to provide a little better air seal around the filter. And uh, yeah, then a little flange on the top to hold it in place to keep it from getting blown out. And then of course, on the side, put the back on, but I have to cut a hole in it and figure out where that's going to go. So let me do the inside strips first. And it seems rather convenient that we have some cutoffs available to us from uh, trimming down the sides. So I'm going to trim off a couple pieces about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch. Yeah, I'll go about a quarter of an inch uh, on this to provide us some uh, stock to go inside the, we'll call it the filter cabinet. Okay, so I, I have the uh, little strips cut now that'll keep the furnace, uh, keep the filter from falling through. What I'm going to do though, because <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit difficult to show this on with the camera in place, I'm going to set the filter in place, um, just set in here nicely so that it's flush with the uh, surface of the of the cabinet, and then I'll just butt the uh, these little strips up against the edge of that and use my uh, pin nailer and just nail them in place. So next step in our dust filter, dust collection uh, filter box. <clears throat> Got the box constructed. I have the filter kind of placed in here. Nothing's set permanently, obviously, but uh, looking at how we're gonna get air coming into the box from the blower. So I have this little adapter here that I picked up off Amazon. It's used for uh, splicing dust collection hose together. The intention is I'm going to cut that right in half, right down here, drill a hole through here using our hole saw of death. Dum dum dum. That will stick through the box like that, being cut off here, and big enough that I can put a sock over the, the the little pool filter sock that I've got to diffuse the air as it comes into the box will uh, fit over this part of the fitting. I'll use a hose clamp just to keep it uh, snug on there. And then just to kind of help the air swirl around a little bit better, I'm thinking to take some of our material that we use for both the bandsaw hose adapter and the swirler within the, the uh, hat, just to put something in here like this, just to kind of help direct the air, swirl it around a little bit better, 
so that we can take advantage of the top of the filter um, to see if that helps a little bit. But step one, cut that adapter in half. Step two, we'll drill a hole uh, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, that's going to fit in very nicely. Uh, so we just, we're coming through the side there, so I have room now to clamp on a hose. The other end, this is going to be a very short hose, probably be about that long, and I'm going to put a magnetic coupler on this end to connect to the blower. Clamped on permanently here, and then we're going to cut this piece in, in half, and we can attach a sock, a little tool filter sock onto that and then put in some deflection. So let me cut this piece off now. All right, we got the uh, fitting cut in half, and this is how the sock will fit on there with a clamp around it. Oh, we're looking good now. So I'm gonna reattach this side, again, just with screws. We're gonna glue it in permanently, but I'm just gonna reattach it with the screws. Then let's work on the uh, kind of a little air deflection system here just to kind of move the air around this box a little better. So there's a little uh, deflector inside our um, dust filter box. So I, I have no good reason for putting this in, but I'm just kind of thinking yeah, it might help move the air around a little bit better. So I'm gonna put one up here at the top corner, up in here, and I'm gonna put a slightly shorter one over here, a sharper angle. I, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I, I do think that the air coming in would move around a little bit better uh, inside the box. So I'll put them in, put it back on the box, and we'll uh, get closer to doing a test. I have uh, printed a couple more parts now for our uh, dust filter box. <clears throat> this is another hose adapter that will go on the end of the hose. And that hose is going to be on the one end clamped onto this adapter here. So I'll have a hose clamped there. The other end, and it'll just be a short hose, will probably be about that long in fact, will just be, uh, <coughs> have this little adapter on it. And that is gonna connect to the dust collector, or sorry, to the blower. And I have uh, built this little adapter, 3D printed it. So with a flange on the bottom that matches the flange that's on the dust adapter, and then of course that, sorry, that's on the blower. And then of course that'll just clip to the hose like so. So these four holes that'll mount onto the blower correspond to these four holes here. So I'm gonna take those screws out, this piece comes off, and then our new adapter goes on. So let me get that all going. So there's the flange that was on, now replaced with our little hose adapter. And shrewd observers may realize that uh, there was a screen in there. One, one commenter I had suggested, just take the screen out. I mean, it's just causing an obstruction. Oh, I thought, yeah, that's right. You know, there's no, uh, I'm not gonna have little fingers going in there and there's no large particles. They'll all be down here in the, in the bucket. So yeah, just get rid of the obstruction that should uh, help with airflow. There is a, actually another screen in there that I'll get to, but I'm not there yet. So now let me uh, get a little short hose um, and we'll put the other adapter on there and uh, connect it to the dust filter box. Okay, so we got our uh, hose adapter, a short piece of hose, hose adapter on this end that'll uh, snap into the blower and a uh, hose connector, or hose clamp on this end of the hose into our box. I didn't have a long enough hose uh, clamp here, so I joined two together. And I have this uh, Klein screwdriver. Don't know if you know anything about Klein screwdrivers, but really nice little tool. Um, you know, two bits here, two bits here. So, so you've got four bits there. Plus you can pull out this, this shaft here, and you've got another four bits on the other end. But some of the cool things about this is what you're left with here, this diameter, is a perfect size for a hose clamp. Just goes on perfectly. And uh, these guys, when you pull them out, they're the perfect size for some self-tapping uh, hex nuts. So really versatile tool.
and a nice grip, big grip. I, I'm not endorsing, I, I'm not being paid by Klein Tools, but if you're looking for a screwdriver, man, this is a nice screwdriver. This was given to me. Thanks, John. Really appreciate this tool. I use it a lot. Okay, next up, we're going to, uh, I'm going to put the sock on the end of here and just going to hold that on with zip ties for now. Uh, put the back on it and then find a way to probably suspend this uh, just in front of the blower temporarily. have to figure out some permanent placement for it yet, but yeah, we're about to get it uh, set up, run a test. Okay, sock in, zip tied. The back is screwed on. I haven't done any silicone around anything yet. Um, I figure let's just see how this thing works first. So next we'll be uh, place the filter in. Like so. Sorry, that was a little, a little awkward as I'm holding the camera and doing it. So filter in. <clears throat> next I'm going to put on just a couple little swing tabs here to hold the filter in place. Figure out a way to hold it there, plug her in, and let's see what happens. So there's the little swing tabs. Flip it up, and uh, they're out of the way so the filter can come out. Swing it down, keeps the filter in place. All right, let me figure out how to mount this. All right, and there we have it. It's uh, I'm calling this a temporary mount. I wanna see how the filter mechanism works. What I have is the uh, filter box is actually suspended from the ceiling. Um, obviously, I, I want to make some adjustments to get this thing a little more permanently established, but this will certainly let me test the filter uh, with the blower. So fundamentally, I got three stages of dust, dust extraction here. Main particles going through the cyclone into the bucket. The second filter is the little sock behind there. Uh, not really doing an awful lot. It's more of a diffuser, so two and a half maybe. And then final, this Merv 11 um, uh, dust filter here. So uh, I turned it on briefly and it still seems to be sucking reasonably well out of the hose. So I think this is gonna work pretty well. I'll do uh, some tests with it. You know, next little bit of uh, extraction with the saws, the band saw, and other stuff on the table, and we'll see how we do. But I'm sure this is going to make a big difference. Anyway, uh, we'll, you'll see this uh, in upcoming videos as uh, I continue, but I'll put this up so you can have a look at it in full. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe.